Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, come on in, put your feet up, get yourself comfortable and just relax. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already as well. <laughs> Always have to get that in there. Um, so I've just done two coats of this kind of creamy colour. Then I've went in with some pink gel paint and I'm using some alcohol just to disperse that out. I don't want it to be like super visible. It's just to add a wee bit of texture to the background. Um, then I'm taking these beautiful cows my niece is obsessed obsessed with cows and um yeah so i had to make christmas cows if you've never heard of it you have now <laughs> so i just cut out the cow and i cut off the flowers that was on top of its head because they're not very christmasy and um then i've just painted the back with some uh stamping polish so that it would just pop and then i've just stamped that on as usual and matte coated and now I'm going to create some Christmassy art to go with the Christmas cow. Yes. <laughs> so I'm creating a circle shape. Yeah. I'm trying to... What? Aye. <laughs> I've been a brain fart already. <laughs> so I'm just filling that out and then I'm going to create a smaller one next to it. Leaving a wee bit of a gap there like so there we go and i've cured them both in the lamp so now i'm going to go in with some um black gel paint and i'm going to create those cow markings which is super easy because they don't need to be tidy they don't need to be specific sh shape sorry <clears throat> as always got that frog in my throat <laughs> um so i'm going to do three on the big one look at that it's already looking cow like <laughs> I bet you there's somebody out there that would have a cow themed Christmas. I bet you I'm not as crazy as you may think. Well, that's debatable, but anyway. Um, so I'm just doing the exact same on this other bobble, but I'm doing two on this one because it's a bit smaller. I use gel paint because it's more pigmented and you get better detail, I feel, with it. Um, so I've just created the, the wee um, th threads. <laughs> I can't get the word. Um, and I've added some silver gel paint to create the wee bobbles, the bit that you put the thread through. I can't get it, honestly. Anyway, so I've, I've done that and then uh, cured all that and I'm going in and creating some holly because like, you know, I need holly and everything at the moment. Um, and just super easy. You just create some dots, pull out some lines and then feather it out. Um, I'm doing the exact same on the cow here. I did put three at first. I didn't think it looked right, so I removed that that top one. Um, yeah, like you see here. Then I'm going to take some of that uh, silver gel paint and I'm just going to disperse that around the nail. No particular rhyme or reason. I'm just wanting to add a wee touch of something in the background for some sparkle. Because, you know, it's Christmas. Well, it's November, but... Yeah, it goes on for about two months anyway, it's fine. <laughs> um, I'm just adding a wee touch of that silver gel paint to the holly and the leaves. And now I'm going to matte top coat this. And I'm not finished yet, so I'm going to create some cow markings in the white gel paint and then add some snow, like so. And I'll put some on the cow's back and its ears. And then I'm going to take clear acrylic and I'm just going to sprinkle that over until... Um, the gel paint goes matte. If you've got anything that's kind of shiny coming through, you want to keep covering that until it's not shiny. Um, so that's why I'm doing it a lot here. And I cured that in the lamp for a double cure. And this is the finished result. Christmas cows. There you go. It's a thing. <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a wee thumbs up. Comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you on the next one. Who knows what's next? <laughs> Love you lots. Bye. <laughs>